Hello friends and welcome to this crochet tutorial on how we are going to make these crocheted skull appliques, motifs. You can also add a string to hang them. This one I made with variegated yarn. This one is with solid. So come join me and I'm going to show you how to take this stitch by stitch and make it so that your Halloween has a little bit of crochet to it. Come on, let's get started. So it doesn't take a lot of yarn. We can use a scrap amount. The hook that I'm using is a 4.5 millimeter. So let's go ahead and pull out some yarn. This will also be part of the hanger. So make it as long as you like, however long you might want. I have about 12 inches here. Let's place a slip knot on our hook. Let me set the camera in a little closer and let's get then we'll get started. Okay, so let's begin with a chain of 9. 1 2 three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We're going to skip our first chain here. In the second chain, single crochet. In our next chain, half double crochet. In our next chain, double crochet <clears throat> over our next two chains we're going to do a double crochet two together so yarn over insert it into the first chain pull up a loop yarn over through two loops then yarn over and into the second chain, pull up a loop, yarn over through two, and we'll have three loops on our hook, yarn over through all three. The next stitch, or the next chain I should say, one double crochet, half double crochet, and then single crochet. So this is what we have so far. Let's chain one, turn our work. But what we're going to do right here is we're gonna add a stitch. So let's chain one more time. So right here, Add a half double crochet. We're going to half double crochet across, and in the last one, we'll add two half double crochets. At my house, it's the first of October. And it's already starting to feel cold as I was watching the weather. They said we're gonna possibly have an early winter. So here I am at the last one. Two half double crochets. You should have a total of nine half double crochets on this row. Let's chain one and turn. And in our first one, two half double crochets. One all the way across to the last one where you will add two. We should have 11 half double crochets in this row. Now 
you're going to find that making this skull motif or applique, whichever you choose it to be, will go very quickly. It just seems slow because of the tutorial. And I think you're going to have fun making these and maybe making a, a banner with them on it also. Okay, so let's double check and make sure we have 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We want the odd number. Chain 1 and turn. So we're going to be shaping our eye, the top part of our eye in this row. So half double crochet, half double crochet over the next two stitches, slip stitch. Over the next three stitches, half double crochet the next two slip stitch remember to make your your loops a little large so it won't pull in and then in the last two half double crochet We have like a little wave action going on here. Let's chain one and turn our work. So in our first one here, we're going to half double crochet and then chain four. One, two, three, and four. And if you're like me, I need to pull some more yarn out. <laughs> okay, sorry for the delay. Now we have our three um, double crochets here, or half double crochets here. So, what I'd like for you to do is to turn it around and see where our middle one is, and this is where we want our stitches to go. So go ahead and place it from the back side and then turn it around. And you can place your thumb there that way you know where to place that next stitch. So half double crochet, chain two, and then half double crochet in that same spot. So we have like our little nose right here. Chain four. All right, now for our last stitch, we want to give the illusion like we have here. See how it looks like it has a chain stitch here? So we want to give that same illusion over here on this side. So yarn over. We're going to get into that last stitch. We're going to pull up a loop. And then into this chain stitch, we're going to pull up another loop. And it'll, this will give the balance that we need for the other side. So just go through that first one, okay? And then go through all the rest of them. There we go. And it'll give us the same look that we have here over here. All right, so let's chain two, turn our work. Now over the chain, single crochet, just kind of pull it over, chain one. 
Now in this last chain of the chain four for the eye, place a single crochet. Now when I go into my chain, I always like to pull up two parts of that chain so that it doesn't stretch. All right, it's chain one. I'm gonna place two double crochets right here into the chain two space. chain one and then down onto the chain on the other side here single crochet okay and that kind of see how it drops it down just that little bit chain one and then over that chain four single crochet chain two and slip stitch here into that chain one at the end of the row. I had to cough. <laughs> no, I'm not sick, but I appreciate the concern. All right, so we are going to chain one, turn our work. We're going to slip stitch all the way up here to that first chain. Well, actually to the um, single crochet. So let's go ahead and slip stitch across. Remember that if you, when you slip stitch into your chains, that you will pick up um, two parts of that chain. All right, so here we are, we're, we're across. Let's chain three. Okay, so into the chain one space, we're gonna do a treble. So wrap your yarn twice into that chain one space. Yarn over through two, yarn over through two, and yarn over through two. Okay, we have this space over the two double crochets of the previous row in the chain one. We're gonna add trebles to each one of those spaces there. So yarn over twice. Here's the chain one. All right, then chain three. We're gonna slip stitch to the top of the single crochet. And this is what we have so far. But what I've done is I wanted to reinforce the bottom here so now this is your preference if you choose not to do this this is okay I'm gonna go ahead and chain one and turn my work and I'm gonna slip stitch and each chain ends top of the stitch around remember to keep your loops that you create loose so that it doesn't pull your work in tight um, it, to me, it gives a little bit more definition to the bottom of the jaw. And, I don't know, to me it just makes it look more balanced. My husband loves the Punisher look and he likes the skulls so we have a lot of skulls in his man cave 
<laughs> okay, so here we are at the last one. Okay, and that's the end of that row. Cute, isn't it? Might need a little shaping, but we'll be fine. Okay, so this one, use a needle. I'm going to go under that one. I might have the wrong size needle here. I hope not. So let's go ahead and pull it across. There we go. And you don't want it to come out, so go over go over the one. And pick up another one and go back across. Now you're wondering about our 12 inch tail. Try to keep the weavings to a minimum. So I'm just going to kind of go through the stitching here until I get to the center. it in. Oops, went the wrong direction. <laughs> so let's lock it in. Okay, and then take the other end and we're going to come through it again. But leave a long loop here. And go around it again. Come to the back side of these stitches here and weave your end in. Remember to stretch him out just a little bit to give him his shape. Cute, huh? <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you come back again. I have some more for you. So, till next time. Bye-bye. Oh, wait. Before you go, I want to show you my sneak peek. Look like bones, don't they? It'll be my next video. So, till next time, bye-bye.